Hello and welcome back to another lesson from English with Greg. Today we're going to talk about using YouTube to learn English. Really how to use YouTube to learn English. The techniques I'm going to teach you are things that not everybody knows. So if you spend a lot of time on YouTube and you want to learn English, let's go. If you're new here, I'm Greg and on this YouTube channel I teach British English pronunciation and advanced grammar. So if that's what you are interested in, subscribe to my channel and you can download my book free up there, which is a great way to start learning even more with me. So in today's lesson I'm going to tell you five things that you should be doing if you really want to use YouTube to learn English for free. YouTube is such a great platform to learn English free, but not everybody takes full advantage of it to learn English effectively. Tip number one is probably the simplest and most obvious one, but use subtitles. Most channels add subtitles to their videos. Ones that don't, YouTube automatically generates subtitles for those videos. So it's still a good option to choose. Because I teach English on YouTube, I add subtitles to all my videos. So if you want to follow exactly what I'm saying, just click the subtitles or closed captions icon and turn the subtitles on. If you are watching a video in English and you have the option of reading subtitles in English or in your mother tongue, I highly, highly recommend you use subtitles in English. This way you can really train your listening skills by listening to the speaker and seeing exactly what they are saying at the same time. This is a really effective way of improving your listening and I really think putting the subtitles in your mother tongue is counterproductive. Your brain is then working in two languages at the same time. So use subtitles. Tip number two is something that perhaps you're not familiar with and this is the fact that you can change the speed of the video you are watching. When I'm teaching English on YouTube I tend to speak at a speed which is somewhere in between the speed that I would speak with my friends and a very slow speed. I want people to understand me, I want people to understand the message I have to give and also generally when you are public speaking whether that be on YouTube or to a hall full of hundreds of people, it's generally a good idea to try to speak a little slower. That way nothing gets lost. So my recommendation is this. If you watch my videos and you think I'm speaking too quickly, change the speed to 0.75. On the other hand, if you think I speak too slowly or you want to test your listening and see how I might speak with my friends, then choose 1.25. I watch a lot of videos on YouTube where the speakers already speak very quickly because they are directed mainly towards native speakers. In those situations it might be a good idea for you to slow the video down so that you can understand it easier. There is no shame in doing that and if you slow the speed down to a speed that is a little bit more understandable for you, you will improve your English listening skills much more effectively than if you watch a video that is like blah, 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 and you don't understand anything. So change the speed. Just click down there, click the settings icon, change speed and choose a speed that is easier for you to understand. Tip number three. I am a YouTube English teacher. I have my business but I also have my YouTube channel where I publish free weekly videos for everybody. Sometimes I do live classes but hey I'm not the only one. <laughs> there are lots and lots of really good YouTube teachers out there. Some with millions of subscribers and some equally good teachers with much less subscribers. Hi! 
But my recommendation is this. Don't just have one YouTube English teacher. Choose three, four, five. Just choose the YouTube teachers that you feel a nice connection with. Choose a teacher who publishes regular videos. Choose a teacher who you would like to be your teacher. If you do, and if you feel a connection with that teacher, then watching their lessons is going to be a much more enjoyable experience. I watch some channels on YouTube so much that I, I feel like I know the person. And that connection between you and the teacher is really important to help you learn English from that person. I did two videos a few years ago in which I gave my top five British English YouTube teachers, which you can watch up there. I also did a video in which I gave my top five American YouTube English teachers, which you can watch up there too. So have a look at my favorites, subscribe, but make sure you subscribe to my channel too. Tip number four is use what you learn. So many YouTube English teachers teach vocabulary, grammar, pronunciation, expressions, things to say, things not to say. After watching the video, it's a great idea to use what you've learned. And the quickest and most immediate way to do this is to write a comment. Just write a comment to the teacher using an expression that they have taught you in class or using some grammar correctly that they have taught you in that lesson. Personally, I love it when people use what I've taught them by sending me a comment. It's great, but it's also a really effective way for you to use YouTube to learn English. You learn something, you use it immediately. And if you're lucky, or if you ask your teacher on YouTube, hey, is, is this correct? Then you might get a reply with a correction, or yeah, great. So tip number four, write a comment using what you've learned in the lesson. And finally, tip number five is, don't limit yourself to watching English teachers on YouTube. Of course, it's great. It's a great way to learn English, to really focus on English pronunciation, grammar, vocabulary, expressions, all this stuff. It's a great way to improve your English in an English lesson on YouTube. But don't limit yourself to English teachers. Choose a hobby. Choose something you are interested in. If you are interested in cooking, then find a cooking YouTube channel in English and watch that in English with subtitles, slowing down the speed, writing a comment to the YouTuber. One of my favorite YouTubers is a ukulele teacher. I watch him regularly, I love his channel. So if you are interested in learning how to play the ukulele or guitar or how to build something, find a channel that teaches you that in English. It's a great way to not only focus on learning from a teacher, but improving your listening skills, expanding your vocabulary in a real life situation. Also, English teachers have a habit of modifying our language so it's easy to understand for you, but music teachers, personal trainers, DIY experts, cooking channels, don't. They will be speaking English at a, at a completely natural speed. So again, this is great practice. So what do you think? How do you use YouTube to learn English? Which of these tips do you currently do? Which of these tips are you going to start doing? Send me a message in the comments below. I would love to hear. And if you know any other ways to use YouTube to learn English, let me know. Okay, thanks for being here. Give this a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.